I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Central Valley, it's Kelsey and Rue here with your morning announcements for Wednesday, October 3rd, 2018. Today's lunch is pepperoni melt with seasoned beans and chilled applesauce. The new FBLA officers for the 2018-2019 school year are President Maddie Kuzmich, Co-Vice President Samantha Yetzik, and Mark Palumbo, Co-Treasurers Celeste Gabauer and Eva Conti, Secretary Brooke Judy, Parliamentarian Lucas Watson, Reporter Lauren Kostowski. There will be a mandatory meeting of all officers on Thursday at 4 p.m. Girls Power Plus signups are underway. If any girls are interested, please contact Jaden Frazzanelli by October 5th. The tournament will be held in late October to early November. Attention NHS members, all food pantry items are due today. Please deliver to Ms. Jones's room North B114. There will be a gymnastics informational meeting on Thursday, October 4th at 6.30 at the Monaca Turner's Dining Hall. Anyone interested in high school gymnastics should attend this meeting. Please sign up in the main office or at the athletic director's office if you're interested in joining the team. The Central Valley Girls Varsity Soccer Team is hosting a peak-out game on Wednesday, October 14th versus South Bay at 7 p.m. There will be raffle baskets, a 50-50 drawing, and a bake sale. All proceeds will go to the Center Women's Civic Club. The group's main goal is to provide help to women in Beaver County who are affected by the devastation of cancer. Please come out and support this cause in Our Lady Warriors. Central Valley will hold their 8th annual Warriors in Pink Observance during the varsity football game versus Alicup on Friday, October 26th. The pink ribbon is an international symbol of breast cancer, and Warriors in Pink is CV Jr.'s Lauren Kostowski, Liz Brobeck, Maddie Schultz, and Diana Huber's senior projects to bring about breast cancer awareness. As part of the event, Warriors in Pink t-shirts are being sold as well as pink luminaries, which will be lit in honor or memory of a loved one diagnosed with the disease. Order forms can be found in the athletic office, main high school office, or downloaded from the athletics page of the school website. If you know a survivor who is interested in participating in our halftime ceremony, please see Mrs. Koppel in the high school athletic office for information. Penn State Beaver will also be holding an applications workshop on Monday, October 8th from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. The application you have to fill out will cost $65, but after completing it, they will waiver the fee. That concludes your announcements today, CV. Have a wonderful day. Hey, CV, it's Carly Montel here today with your sports. Girls soccer won against Elwood City 5-1. Bree Petty, Chassie Bundy, and Riley Wilfong scored one goal, while Emma Sudak scored two. Good job, girls. Boys soccer won against New Brighton 7-2. Max Carney, Tyler Wilson, and Nate Taggart scored one goal, while Ethan Ott scored four. Way to go. Girls volleyball won against Lincoln Park by three sets. Way the ball out. Kara Porter is going to the Whippeal Individual Championships this morning at Diamond Run GC. Mara Thomas Wright and Brooke Burnham are going to Shadyside Academy for the Whippeal Double Championships today at 1. That's all for your sports today, CV. Have a great day. Hey, CV. It's Kelsey and Carly here today with the fourth week of E! News. It's just in that you will be receiving a text message from our very own President, Donald Trump. The text will be used to inform America of any natural disasters and national emergencies. Cell phone users will not be able to avoid their alert system. Demi Lovato's hit song, Sorry Not Sorry, is rising on top charts ever since her overdose. According to Demi's family, she is progressing and they are very proud of her for becoming sober again for 60 days so far. Dance Mom's former dance teacher, Abby Lou Miller, left the hospital for the first time in a while and is still battling cancer, but that did not stop her from celebrating her 52nd birthday at her favorite restaurant, Buga Beppo. Kanye West's father beat prostate cancer and both of them celebrated by eating bugs. West stated on Twitter that after his experience with his father's sickness, he does not fear anything anymore. That's it for E! News today. Have a wonderful day.
Hey CV, it's Nolan Scott here with your SAT Word of the Week. Your word this week is ephemeral. <laughs> Whoa, Scott, that's a big word. Especially for me, I don't know about anyone else, but can you please explain to me what that word means? It means short-lived. Wow, that's, that's pretty nice. Can you please use it as a sentence for me? Our time with a substitute teacher is ephemeral. Wow, Scott, thanks for clearing that up for me. I appreciate it. That's it for your SAT Word of the Week, CV. Have a good day. Hey CV, it's Brent and Isaac here with a special segment about new forms of travel developing in the United States. Elon Musk of SpaceX has selected Yasaku Mazawa to be the first tourist to go on their 2023 tourist moon trip, known as the Dear Moon Project. Yusaku, a businessman and art collector, has completely funded the project, which is estimated to cost at least $5 billion. The rocket will circle the moon, but not land, similar to the Apollo 8 mission. Hey, CB, it's Brent here with Mr. Emlon. We're going to interview him about the SpaceX tourist trip. So, Mr. Emlon, do you think we'll eventually colonize the moon? I don't know if we'll colonize the moon. I think we'll ultimately use the moon as a stopping point or as a um, in-between stage for ultimately getting us to Mars. But I don't know if we'll colonize the moon. Um, maybe use more of like as a research base, like the new Antarctica. And uh, if you were given the chance to go to that, would you go? Uh, I don't know about the first few rounds because a lot of this new technology, but I think that um, you know, it could be interesting. I'm not sure if I'd want to take that uh, step. And go to All right, thank you. In addition to this rocket, another project was introduced, the Hyperloop. Virgin Hyperloop 1 has been in development since 2014 and should be ready in, by 2021. The Hyperloop will accelerate gradually and reach 760 miles per hour through a low pressure tube. As an estimate, getting from Pittsburgh to Chicago would normally take about 5 hours by car, but this Hyperloop will only take about half an hour. In addition, the Hyperloop will likely be better for the environment compared to trains, planes, and cars as it runs solely on electricity. Hey CB, it's Isaac here with Jordan Herman. Jordan, would you want to ride the Hyperloop? Um, yeah, because I think it'll be very interesting on like seeing if I can get from point A to point B faster than like flying or driving. Do you think that the Hyperloop will become more popular than driving or flying? I think at first, um, everybody was going to want to try out, try it out to see how um, fast it can go and like that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. In the near future, we could be living on the moon and traveling 760 miles per hour through a hyperloop. Who knows, we could even end up on Mars. That's all for today, CV. Have an astronomical day.